Well, well thank you and welcome. You know, my, my own experience of uh, college football consisted of attending uh, occasional games at Yale Bowl. When I was lucky enough to have a date, uh, she usually knew more about the game than I did. Um, I was a bright, nerdy kid, and when I got into a position to hire people, uh, I looked to hire people like myself. But with maturity and experience, I came to value a varsity football background very highly indeed. Often that bespoke the discipline to work very hard, the perseverance to suffer defeat uh, and uh, endure pain, the personality to be part of a team, and sometimes the charisma to lead one. A healthy mind and a healthy body. What's wrong with that ideal? Well, nothing, except that it has very little to do with college football as played at the big state colleges, the Texas, Georgia, Florida, Louisiana, Michigan, and the recently infamous Penn State. The, these are big businesses. They generate profits of uh, 40 to $50 million a year, sometimes more. The coaches are paid more than uh, university presidents, and the athletes are offered all manner of uh, tawdry inducements, often making a sham of their amateur status. They can emerge with little real education, but often with some very real brain injuries, uh, resulting in elevated risks of dementia at a young age. Libertarians would argue that all sorts of sports and recreational, recreational activities are risky, motor car racing, downhill skiing, climbing mountains, and on and on. And a decent respect for human liberty dictates allowing adults to assume the risks they choose. But query, if a, small, if a poor high school student offered an athletic scholarship to play big time football, is making an informed choice or a mature one? And for the colleges, is big time football a valuable source of funding for other athletic programs? Is it an object of school pride that drives bigger donations from alumni and more generous funding from state legislators? Or is it a corruption magnet, corrosive of the meaning and purpose of the university itself? Clearly, there's a huge public uh, interest in these issues. We've rarely had a debate that was sold out so quickly or that garnered so much pre-debate publicity. So let the game begin. Panelists, John, over to you. Thank you very much.